Welcome back. I'm Ani and today we're going to be doing a really super cool cherry blossom look. A Japanese cherry blossom look. I think that it's going to be absolutely beautiful and I'm going to go ahead and have my hair tie into it. So I'm really excited guys. I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what color I did today, but if you stick around to the end of this video, you can find out. Alright guys, without further ado, let's dive into this thing head first. Let's do say. Action. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Ani and today we're going to be doing a really cool Japanese cherry blossom look. I'm really going for like that red aged, like soft, fierce look. So I'm super excited. I'm going to go ahead and dive into this look. I want to bring you guys closer so that way you can get all up in my grill. I know I look kind of weird because I already got a little excited. And somebody said that I should show you guys exactly how I'm doing it, so let's dive into this. Let's go. Okay, let's start. For this video, I used concealer in shade Deep, NYX Total Coverage Concealer, Liquid Eyeliner, Eyeshadow Primer, Black eyelash adhesive, eyelashes and tweezers, straight black eyeliner, hard candy, glitter palette, a blender sponge, I use mine already, <laughs> my Missy Lynn palette, I use my Modern Renaissance by Anastasia, my Morph in 35B. Also guys, so these are my brushes. I use mine from BH Cosmetics, but you can use any brush that you prefer. I also have an Anastasia brush in here, so yeah. did already start concealing this side of my eyes. I got really excited and I really should have waited. So I actually didn't do the other side. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I do it. So I'm gonna start with my Tarte concealer. I like this concealer y'all because it's kind of thick. It has a good consistency. I'm just gonna get a good flat brush so that I can go ahead and dab it. And as you guys see, I started all the way out here and brought it all the way in. So. I'm just gonna go ahead and not be shy putting that in there. Going to go ahead and put a decent amount of that in there. And you guys just keep dabbing. And you want it to be nice and thick, so go ahead and work it into your crease right here. As you can see, my eyelids look really pale, but it's because I really went in on the concealer, and that's just because I really want my colors to pop. And actually, this concealer has really been a good base, I must say, because I was working with NYX, but with this one, you really, my colors pop a lot more on my crease since I add a little bit more primer underneath my eyes. Okay, so my next step, I'm gonna go ahead and start jumping into my eyeshadow. So I found this really cute look on Instagram, y'all, and it was really cute. So I'm going to give it a shot. I think this look is really sexy and warm. So I'm gonna start with my, almost dropped that. We're gonna start with my really tiny, Brush. I just like 
like to call it that because it's so cute. But this one's going to help me pack in my darker color in my crease. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my 35V palette. And I'm going to go ahead and start with my color Bad Boy down here. Going to dip it and get my brush nice and thick. And I'm going to work it into my crease. You just want to work it in there. Oh, y'all, I'm skipping a very vital point. Go ahead and get you some glue. I mean, not glue. My, my brain is crazy today. I'm really struggling, y'all. I've been up late and this is what I keep putting in over time. But I'm going to actually just put a little bit, and it's okay if you've already started. You can just use a makeup wipe and wipe it. But I'm actually going to just cut it Bit. I want this to be a low part. You don't need to put it all the way past your brows. This is not necessary. You don't have to. But I think it looks perfect. Got it. There we go. All right. So next, I'm actually going to dip into my Seduced. To pick this up and show you guys, my seduced is up here at the top, so I'm going to dip into this color. And I'm going to just work it. I'm going to start a little bit at the bottom of the purple and I'm just going to work it. I don't want it to be too far over because I'm really just trying to blend that color in there. I've been so excited about doing this all day. I kind of woke up this morning and felt like, oh my gosh, I have to shoot today. Just because I don't get to do my makeup too much during the week. It sucks, guys, because I work, so it's hard to get around to shooting. I have to do most of my shooting on the weekends. So as you guys can tell, I really miss y'all during the week. So it becomes really hard for me to wait all this time. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and dip into my Anastasia Love Letter. And I'm gonna go ahead and just lightly sweep that over my brow. I'm really just trying to blend that in. And I'm actually just being really light with it, guys. Just sweeping it right on over. And it's okay to bring it down into your crease, guys. Going back over, just like we did in the first step. We're just kind of outlining that crease line. And if you guys want, you can actually take a thinner brush and you can go ahead and get in that tighter crease spot because once you prime your lids, you're going to cut out a majority of that. So, I like to go ahead and just make sure that it's a point. Alright. So next, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to Blend my color towards the inner part of my eye. I'm actually going to use Tell Me More, or I'm sorry, Trist, guys, Trist. And I'm going to go back in and I'm just going to work Trist towards the outer part of my eye. I want these colors to blend. And I'm gonna keep on being sure to add in that dark bad boy. And this is okay guys, you are gonna get eyeshadow all on your tape. 
That's what the tape is there for, to catch all your residue. And you can just clean it up with some makeup wipes. my urban decay now this is the fun part to me because you can do this part however you like it really just depends on the style that you're going for but I am going to go ahead and cut my crease and draw me a nice little crease line I like to pour a little bit out on my wrist just because the brush on this product does not give me enough when I just dip it so Feel free to do it to your preference, but that's how I do mine. Now, it's okay. You guys make any mistakes, you guys can always fix them. I know sometimes people run into issues of doing two different creases or your creases might not look as even. You can always go back and fix it. Guys, eyeshadow is your friend. So, just work with it. Be patient and just Move at a slow pace. So now that we have worked it in, we're gonna go right ahead and start blending our colors again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit more of my bad boy. I'm just gonna make sure that my purple is really packed in towards the corner. And more slightly on a slant, guys. Want to bring it from out in okay and so now guys without further ado we're going to go ahead and dip into our risque my eyes look really weird when I do it like that but um okay so you're gonna dip into your risque and this is a more so of a darker color but I think it's really pretty. And it's gonna go excellent underneath my glitter. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pack that color in. And be sure to stick to your crease line, guys. You don't wanna mix this with your darker purple. It's okay if it kind of blends into your, your red. I mean, I'm sorry, your um, tryst. You're gonna go ahead and just blend it on out. And do the same for the other eye. Guys, again, I'm taking my time with this. You don't wanna rush through this. And I'm making sure I stay in my crease line and that's just because it gives it a more clean look when you stay there and keep it more clean okay and you're just gonna work it in there guys and it's okay to go over your twist again because you're just going to blend it more as you go I got my nails done like two weeks ago, I think, maybe three weeks ago. And it's been very difficult to do things. Like, ugh, they're all cute and all, but my claws, it's just like, I feel like they're a threat to me because I can't do anything with them, but they're super cute, so I decided to keep them and I'm probably gonna wear them for a little while, so. 
I'm going to dip into this pink color down here. And with this product, guys, this is more like a gel-based glitter. I would say you guys don't need a whole lot at a time. Like, I really put very minimal. I'll show you guys and get a little closer to the camera. But, as you see, I get very minimal amount of glue. But I'm going to work this glitter up into my crease line. So, I want to get that glitter as close as possible to that crease line as I can. And as you guys see, I'm staying towards the top of my lid because I know I'm going to put um, liner at the bottom. So... Just be mindful of that. So I'm just packing it. I'm packing it all the way up into here. And since I'm doing little by little, guys, you will have to dip quite a bit. But it is best that way because it is a lot easier to maintain. glitter as you go you can do that I'm gonna go ahead and start drawing my liner I'm actually gonna go ahead and make this this is the last chance to really make your colors on the side of your eyes pop so I really want to get this bad boy in here deep because I think that this color is absolutely beautiful and it is really the main one of the main attractions of this look it's just it needs to really be in there and be seen so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to draw over the lower parts of my eye because I'm gonna work my way up I want my wing to cut Actually, it would be cute without my liner too, guys. So if you guys want to try it without the liner too, be my guess. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my tape if I can. As you guys see, look how clean that is. If you want, you can go ahead and readjust your eyeliner. And I'm going to get one of my makeup wipe removers. Remover wipes. And I'm just gonna clean up all of the mess around. That includes all of them in here. So now, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my wrap because I am going to go ahead and get started on my lashes as you guys see I did my edges so that's that's what we're doing Now, as you guys can see, the lashes add a nice, beautiful CoverGirl look. Looks good. Yeah? Okay, you're gonna be shy today. Thank you. It looks pretty full. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> okay, look so. At you. <laughs> Stop! 
So I'm actually gonna do the same thing. You know what I'm, saying? I'm sorry. Say I'm it. sorry. I'm just gonna let him know. That's how you supposed to do it. Right there, yeah. you know what I'm okay. <laughs> So you're actually going to go ahead and do the same steps you did the first time. I'm gonna go ahead and give it that that clean look. And I'm just going to go ahead and pat it on in there. All right. So let's get to the exciting part. Chill out. <laughs> you need help, man. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on, Queens. Say, do you see this? What? Pause the mother bleeping video because you look. No, 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 no. Let them see this mess. Oh. Zoom in. Zoom in. Yeah. All right. A little bit of my lip. A little bit of my hip. Mm. A little bit of my lip. Mm. Mm -hmm. Don't hype me up, man. I'm getting really <laughs> excited because I'm coming to the conclusion. You need to control that little head. <laughs> mm. So I'm gonna line my line my lips. Now, guys, this is a trick that I actually saw one time. I can't remember exactly where I saw it from, but it was a trick that this lady did on Instagram, and she was showing people how to line their lips. Now, this is the best way to get the neatest look on your lips. So I'm gonna show you guys as I move along. I'm gonna start towards the bottom of my lip and I'm just gonna trace that crease. Your lip color. Last but not least. Dang, my voice was that ugly? Yep. Wow. I'm going to put on my wig. Red wine. And I'm going to slide it over the back of my head. What you thinking? I don't know. You don't know. I like it. I don't know. You like it? It's nice. This is something that could take literally the matter of maybe 45 minutes. 45. But I think this hairstyle is cute. What do you think? What do you think? Tell me below in the comments. Am I slant or is it a nay? Let me know. But I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a overall look of this look. So, back up, bike up, Florida girl. You know what I'm saying? So I can show you guys the overall look. Okay guys, so this is the overall look. I think this look is sexy. I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. If you guys like this look, leave it below in the comments. Also, if you like my other videos, if you haven't checked them out, what are you doing? Go check them out. They are in the sidebar thingy. What is that thing called? Uh, it's on the side. They're in there. The up next it's video. in there. Go see them. And uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel. 
I love, 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 love you guys. And if you guys try anything similar to this look, I want to see your attempts. Tag me on Instagram. I love you guys so, so much. I'll see you guys next time. Mm, 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 m